In fact, it relies on 11 other Springfields to do its dirty work. Hello, my name is Lawrence Brown and I'm on a quest to uncover all of the memos that Britain and America lost in the pond and one of those memos pertains to place names. And if there's one thing that the United States does better than just about anywhere else, it is the duplication of place names. What do I mean by that? Well, this country is made up of 50 United States. And so for a multitude of reasons, certain states might share place names with others. Often, of course, this takes the form of presidents, with Lincoln being a fine example and Washington being the most common place name in the entire country. But there's one place name that didn't come from the Oval Office that, over time, leapt up to number two in the rankings, or should I say, sprung. I'm talking about, of course, Sprungfield. Springfield. The prevalence of Springfields in the United States is such a part of the zeitgeist that the creator of The Simpsons, Matt Groening, chose it as the show's fictional setting. And while he has said that the town has a lot in common with Springfield, Oregon, the idea was that because there are so many Springfields in the United States, viewers would never be able to deduce the state in which it's set. And so hot on the heels of my own visit to Springfield, Illinois, I asked the question, how many Springfields does America need? <laughs> I don't need an actual answer, I'm just being provocative for clicks. But true to form for this channel, if I were to answer it, I'd have to do some research. And that is exactly what I'm going to do two days ago from now. There, was, there were definite tense issues there. So join me now as we go back in time to 1636. Again, not literally. It was in that very year that the word Springfield was first chiseled onto an American signpost. That's right, Springfield, Massachusetts announced itself to the world just 16 years after the Mayflower found a convenient parking space within the same state. And how did it get its name Springfield? Well, just like Plymouth, it was named after a place in England the village of Springfield in Essex. And why would somebody name a new place after a small English village? I don't know, maybe because he was from there. That's right, English colonist and Eurovision Song Contest runner-up William Pynchon was born in Springfield, Essex in 1590. In coming to the New World, it was he who founded Springfield, Massachusetts, and is surely responsible for the Springfield craze that would sweep the nation in the next two centuries. Perhaps it was also given a shove by the fact that Springfield, Massachusetts played an important role in American history. You see, George Washington, presumably sensing that his name and Springfields would one day come to dominate Google Maps, founded the National Armory in Springfield, Massachusetts. In addition to playing an enormous role in the Industrial Revolution, it was from here that various forms of the Springfield rifle emerged. And amazingly, the armory was still in operation 13 years before the birth of another well-known English colonist, me. Anyway, it's fair to say that the field did indeed spring across the land. To the extent that today, according to the US Geological Survey, there are 34 populated places in the United States bearing the name Springfield. And one of the more striking elements of this fact is that those 34 Springfields are spread across just 25 states, meaning that some states have more than one Springfield, which is just greedy. And it seems that nobody's greedier than the state of Wisconsin, which has Five. Look, you might produce amazing cheese, Wisconsin, but perhaps have a word with your city planners. Then again, in addition to American places simply named Springfield, there are 36 more that go by the official name of Springfield Township. There are two states that make Wisconsin look like a paragon of originality, Pennsylvania and Ohio, which presents a question to my Pennsylvanian viewers. How does it feel to know that your state is home to not five, not six, not seven, not eight, but nine Springfield Townships? Well, not so fast, rain in your excitement because Ohio has 11. In total, at least according to Wikipedia, there are 10 states with at least one Springfield Township. And here's the first major plot twist of this video. You can drive through all of those states without ever touching a state that doesn't have a Springfield Township. Anyway, plot twist number one suggests there's a plot twist number two, and plot twist number two is this. While the United States boasts approximately 4 billion Springfields, there is one place that actually has more Springfields per square mile than the United States has Springfields per square mile, and that place is the United Kingdom. And like, duh, says Uncle Toby implausibly, the UK is much smaller, so Springfield Essex probably achieves that feat all by itself. Not true. The English town that spawned a family of Springfields is also not the only one in the UK. In fact, it relies on 11 
than other Springfields to do its dirty work. So the answer to how many Springfields does America need is this. It needs about 400 if it wants to have more Springfields per square mile than the very country that gave it Springfield in the first place. Or none. I mean, it doesn't really matter. What does matter is that there's only one Springfield that sent me merch. From Illinois' Visit Springfield, thank you for featuring our destination on your YouTube platform. We really appreciate the positive publicity. Please enjoy these gifts and continue producing excellent videos on your social media channels. Your friends at Visit Springfield. And they sent me a 200 year anniversary badge. A Route 66 sign, you can never have too many of those. A Route 66 cup warmer thing that Americans are fond of. And a t-shirt with the words always legendary, which is quite fitting. I meant because it's a large, not because it says always legendary, although some people in the YouTube comments have said. And to all of the other Springfields out there, this is not a green light to send me free stuff. I mean, you can if you want, but I've been there, done that, and worn the t-shirt and Bart Simpson pajamas when I was nine. That's it for this episode. Let me know in the comments below if you live in a Springfield. I'm Lawrence Brown. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter at Lost in the Pond US, and be sure to subscribe to my channel so that my videos don't get lost in the pond. A Springfield, Oregon to Springfield, Maine size shout out to my patrons who make these videos possible. If you would like to become a patron of Lost in the Pond, you can do so at patreon.com slash lost in the pond. Until the next video, goodbye.